a new season is finally here. It's Madden NFL 12. Big hits, big plays, and this year, big changes. Tonight, Spike gives you the chance to line up with the experts. Find out how Madden NFL 12 is true to the game. We're fortunate enough to have passionate fans, and you have to let them voice their opinion. Plus, Michael Irvin, Deion Sanders, Michael Strahan, and more weigh in on what it takes to win. From the opening play to the Hail Mary finish, it's GTTV Presents Madden NFL 12 kickoff, and it starts right now. Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Keeley, and welcome to GTTV Presents Madden NFL 12 kickoff. We're here in Orlando, Florida, home to EA Tiburon, to find out why Madden NFL 12 is shaping up to be the best edition yet. We've got our own all-pro team here to talk Madden NFL 12. Anthony Stevenson, the director of marketing at Tiburon. We've also got Mike Young, who's the creative director, and Anthony Demento, who's one of the designers on the game. All right, guys, well, congratulations. We have another year of Madden. It was looking grim for a while, but uh, it is coming out here uh, tonight at midnight. We're excited about it. And we're going to take your questions from the Madden Nation and let these guys respond. It's our FAQ's Fan Asked Questions. And first, the call you guys made way back in March was to do a cover vote, let the fans decide. Why'd you go that way? We honestly started getting a lot of questions from our fans, just people on the street and even media. Is Madden coming out? That, that's a scary proposition for us because that's our, you know, that's our lifeblood. It was never Madden. in debate, right? It was never in debate for us, but we needed something to, you know, there was going to be a lot of negative conversation going on amongst football fans in the offseason, and we wanted to try to turn that positive, but also let people know we're fully invested in Madden. We're really excited, and, you know, no matter what, Madden NFL 12 is going to come out in August like it always has. So the cover vote was our way to do that. People get passionate about it. They want to see their favorite team or player represented. Or if they believe in the curse, some people don't want their favorite team represented. Uh, but that was just a way for us to give back to the fans. And as I said, keep the, the conversation positive in the offseason. And it was an amazing you know, final vote there. It was Michael Vick mm -hmm. versus Peyton Hillis. Were yeah. you guys really willing to put Michael Vick on the cover? 100%. Or you might not like Michael Vick, and that's fine. But the great news is, is you were able to vote against him. And some people certainly did. But at the end of the day, you know, Peyton Hillis uh, was the fan's choice. And he's been a great person to work with. And we're really proud to have him represent Madden NFL 12. It was a shocker, but pretty cool to see that Peyton made it on the cover. Well, let's hear what the pros had to say about the cover choice for this year's Madden. Who would I have picked to be on the cover? I would have had Darrell Rivas on the cover. Probably like the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. He is the guy who is who's a star in the NFL everybody's talking about. I love Peyton Hillis. I think that's a wonderful pick. I like that kid, I really do. Phenomenal player. You want a guy that really relates to the fan, and Peyton Hillis is that guy. So how are you never on the cover of Madden? I don't get it. That's what I want to understand. Next time I see Madden, I might slap him just for that. All right, well, you guys might have to make an exception and put Dion on the cover next year, although this year you do have a legend on the cover of the Hall of Fame edition, Marshall Fox. Yeah, right? he's our first EA Sports cover athlete to ever get the bronze treatment in Canton, so we're really excited about that. He, uh, he hand-signed, people didn't believe it, but he hand-signed 125,000 cards that's in every collector's edition. We have video proof on Facebook. He's must there have taken signing them. months, right? Eight-hour days for at least a couple months, but, you know, he's a champ, and he's always been a big fan of Madden, and, you know, he gets to be on the cover again. How many retired guys get to be on the cover again? There is a tagline for this year's game, true to the game. What does that mean? True to the game is really a play on words, meaning obviously tr anything that we put in the game is going to be true to what you see on the field, uh, both outside the lines and inside the lines on Sundays, but also true to the game, meaning true to Madden. We get you know, tweets from guys that are like, hey, I, I'm, I'm a season ticket holder in Seattle, and you guys don't have the 12th man flag, so we get the 12th man flag. Or we have you know, their five-foot auger hawk. Uh, we added you know, mascots to the game this year, cheerleaders, stuff that's true to the game that we've never had, and uh, fans really appreciate it. Well, nobody knows the truth like the players themselves, so here's what they had to say from running out of the tunnels to trash talk on the field. It's the transition and the transformation. As you transition out of the locker room onto the field, as I transform from Mike Orvin to the playmaker. I came out of tunnel full speed running. I'm kind of a gung-ho guy. That says warrior time. The trash talking is vast. I never talked trash because my game was too loud. They get pretty dirty. We couldn't both conversate at the same time. I'll take anything that's inside. I like playing inside. I like the dome. I don't like worrying about the weather at all. I like playing in Tampa. 
you know, Dome in St. Louis, Dome in Arizona. I like playing in Green Bay. Or any other one, and, and I'll, I'll find my home there. All right, let's get to the reason we're here, some fan questions. And the first one comes from Sean in Freehold, New Jersey, and he asks how sideline catches have been updated for Madden 12. Um, well, I mean, we've definitely improved the animations on them, and, uh, you know, one of our big features this year was uh, traits and tendencies for all the players in the league. So certain players who have the trait that, you know, they make sideline catches, they'll be better at it. You know, a guy like Calvin Johnson, you can feel comfortable, you know, throwing to him on those out routes on the sideline. Uh, and, you know, the animations look great. All right, we got another FAQ coming from the fans. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Alexandria from Staten Island. I know Madden is real to the game, but I would like to know, how did you update the cheerleaders? I like your question. Uh, how are the cheerleaders updated? I got this one. Uh, uh, actually, the cheerleaders are brand new this year, so that's another one of those uh, true to the game presentation elements. But um, it's kind of it's actually kind of cool. You see uh, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. They got their boots and the vests, and it's you know it's just authentic, like you were there in the stadium. It's all in there. All right, and uh, final question comes from Joe, and he asked, did you guys really update? the grass in this year's game. There's a lot of talk about 3D grass. Yes, 3D grass is in the game. It's It looks awesome. We worked with NCAA to build that. And uh, in addition to that, we have amazing field kickups. So if you're running around, you'll see blades of grass flying up. If you're on a turf, you'll see the little black pellets. So we really make it feel like it's real. Coming up, it's all X's and O's when the pros take the ball. If you're gonna go for that tackle, don't go in there half ass, man. You gotta come like a man. I'm blitzing you. I'm coming after you. Plus, a message from our sponsor. This needs to be a public service announcement. When the kickoff returns. Right, guys, we're back here in Orlando, home to Tiburon, hanging out with the guys behind Madden NFL 12. And now it's time to open up the playbook on this year's gameplay. But first, let's hear what the pros have to say when it comes to X's and O's. As a gamer, I, I'm as violent as I possibly can be. Give me the ball in the middle of the field and watch me do my magic. I want to throw it, I want to throw it on every down, I want to have the big stats and the long touchdown. When I have to have a sack or a big play, I'm blitzing you. I'm coming after you. If you're going to go for that tackle, don't go in there half ass, man. You got to come like a man. I found out over 15 years of playing and playing Madden for over a decade that it comes down to defense. There you go, Kurt Warner and Rodney Harrison certainly know a thing or two about play calling, and now it's time for some FAQ. Hey, what's going on? I'm Eric from Massachusetts. I heard that you guys are rating the players a little stricter this year. Is this true? And if so, what's the gap between good and bad players? Uh, ratings is always a fun one. Uh, it is true, but it was actually true last year. The range from all-star to kind of rookie, if you will, was we made it wider so that you really felt the difference if you lost your starting quarterback and you had to bring in a backup who was a journeyman or right. was getting his first snaps, that you would really feel that impact. But what we did this year that was new and unique is we added traits and tendencies, about 20 of them. And what's cool is that ratings historically have been linear, zero to 99, let's say. These are more, um, hey, does this guy run outside of the pocket? Or if he gets sacked a lot, does he lose his composure? So just being able to really separate players who might have the same rating, but they have different traits and tendencies, and that's what's really new about this year. All right, very cool, good question. Next question comes from Mark in New York City, and he wants to know what's one big way the game has evolved this year? Lots of ways, but you want to call out one? The big one is the new collision system. So, you know, in the past, animations would trigger about a foot apart. Now, everything's happening as the players actually touch, and it's a, it's a game changer. It feels very responsive, hits feel very powerful. Um, you know, everyone that's got their hands on the game, the lucky few, say, you know, it feels great, and uh, so that's the game changer. All right, cool, good answer. Uh, next question comes from James. He wants to know, what has been done to change the ratio for the outcome of fumbles? <laughs> very, very mathematical specific. question, yeah. exactly. <laughs> What's the math behind it? Um, well, I mean, obviously, we have, we have great telemetry, so, and, you know, like we've been saying, everything is true to the game, so we were able to look at the numbers and make sure that fumbles are tuned appropriately so they happen, you know, just as often as they do in the real NFL games. And, you know, with, you know, players who do fumble more, obviously will fumble more in the game. Uh, yeah. We're yeah, always think, looking at that. Yeah, I think a great example for this year, you know, they're changing the kickoff rule. So, you know, we have 200 million or so online games that happen, and, uh, you know, we just have a database that basically feeds stats from those games. And so um, they move the they move the kickoff line up this year, so in theory, there's going to be less kickoff returns, right? So we might see in Madden that, oh, you know what? 
where they're averaging 35 yards per kickoff return in Madden, but in the NFL, it's only 24 yards. And so we're able to tune the game kind of on the fly to represent what's actually happening on Sunday. That's right. true to the game. And we actually introduced live tuner sets this year, so we, you know, we can look at this information after ship and make changes to it really easily without having to go through the whole patch process. I just to make sure that the game is matching what's happening in the real world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right. Next question comes from Zaid in Indianapolis, and he asks, will it be just as easy to pass the ball as it was last year, and are there negative effects of being one-dimensional in a game now? Uh, ab absolutely. I mean, that was one of our big gameplay upgrades was, you know, uh, improvements to zone defense. And, you know, back in December, it was almost too good, and we had to scale it back a little bit. Yeah, I think we, this, is, this needs to be a public service announcement to those people <laughs> who used to abuse the flats all the time online. You're not going to be able to do not that. Happening You're going to have year. to find a new, a new way. Next, the fans take possession. It's pretty much the greatest hits list of what they asked for. And the pros start making contract demands. How can you not give me an A-plus all the way across the board? Madden NFL 12 kickoff continues. Hey guys, welcome back to GTTV Presents Madden NFL 12 Kickoff. I'm Jeff Keeley, joined by the guys behind the game, and let's get back into the playbook. I know a lot of fans and even the NFL greats love franchise mode. If I'm starting my Madden franchise, you always have to start with a quarterback. So it's going to be a toss-up between Brady and Manning, but uh, Manning has a neck injury, so I'm going to go with Brady. <laughs> Andre Johnson, Calvin Johnson, Larry Fitzgerald, uh, those would probably be the, the guys that I pick. It's Adrian Peterson. He is a Minnesota Vikings, and uh, he's one tough guy. Only person that disrupts a quarterback is a good pass rushing defensive end, so I would probably draft myself. All right, it's time to get to our next fan-asked question. Let's check this one out. Hi, I'm Justin from New Jersey. My question is, what makes this year's franchise mode different from years past? So uh, we're fortunate enough to have passionate fans like Justin, who uh, every day are telling us the things that we need to focus on in franchise mode to make it more true to the game and authentic. And so this year, you know, we didn't try to brainstorm, oh, let's come up with some new ideas. We basically just looked at the forums, looked at what the top hit list was, the top requests, if you will. You gave the people what they wanted? We gave the people what they wanted. There was uh, almost 100 improvements that we did across franchise and superstar mode, and uh, it's pretty much the greatest hits list of what they asked for. Yeah, I mean, I'm a huge franchise guy myself, so, you know, some of the bigger things for me were the expanded rosters so mm -hmm. that, you know, during the preseason, you're, you're actually going to have to make cuts, you know, every week. And, you know, feature draft picks is the other really huge feature. I would say also the dynamic player performance, you know, week to week, you know, Jay Cutler is never going to be the same Jay Cutler's. One week he's four interceptions, one week it's four touchdowns. So now with hot and cold streaks, you can, um, you know, you have a bad game and now the next week that's going to affect your ratings. Interesting. All right. So you got to keep up every week. It matters. Uh, next question comes from Jay, who asks, with the addition of abilities like clutch and high motor in franchise mode, can players who don't originally have those abilities gain them in future years? The answer is yes. So, um, right. you know, it, it's going to determine how you play with a guy. If you draft a guy new or you have a Sam Bradford who's currently not clutch in our game, the way you play will determine how he progresses. Anyone? Anyone. These abilities? Anyone. But you have to perform. You know, if you have to win games late, and then uh, that's how you get there. All right, we got another FAQ coming from the fans. Let's check it out. Hey, this is George from Brooklyn. I want to know what's different with the free agent in Madden 2012. Uh, I guess the best way to answer that is probably like in an analogy. It, it's sort of like eBay. So you, you, you bid for a player, a team might outbid you, and you've got to decide, do I want to up them or do I want to go move on to another player? So um, I think what's even more unique about it is just how authentic it is that the way that teams are bidding, it's based on their, like, their team philosophy. You know, it's, every team's logic's been tuned, so you actually need to know what teams are going to be when, while you're bidding, which makes it a lot more exciting and more realistic. What I like about it is you have to prioritize who you're going to go after, too. You know, like Anthony said, it's on that timer. So, you know, if I am the Eagles, I'm going after Namdi. I'm putting a lot of time into that. I may miss out on other free agents who are out there. So. All right, guys, let's move on to a very controversial topic, and that is player ratings. This is a tough job because no one wants to be on the receiving end when these guys call you unhappy with their ratings or tweet you, as, as I know happens every year. Let's take a look at player ratings. Do you understand what I contribute to the game? Well, I always thought that I should be rated higher. I put the swagger in swagger. No one ever gave me credit for my speed. I was always pretty happy with my ratings. I put the game in the game. They've always shown me a lot of justice, Madden game. 
So when I look at the Madden game and see a prime rate, and it's not 100 or whatever you give them across the board, something's wrong with that situation. Okay, so it looks like the players don't agree with you guys on their ratings, but uh, without ratings, you couldn't have dynamic player performance, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I know, you know, Donnie Moore is not here to defend himself. It's, he's our rating czar who, uh, you know, he has to take that very unbiased approach every year. And, and I, you disagree with him? You say, Donnie, we got we to gotta sit down. I try so, to We got to grab a beer. We got to talk about this. You know, I try to give it to him in a professional way. But, so you know. Donnie is still the ultimate decision maker, though, right? Yeah, I mean, he's going to factor all that stuff in. But what matters the most is once week one and then week two when we're doing those roster updates, it's performance on the field. Coming up, the pros draft their Madden ultimate team. And the Madden NFL developers talk final play. Is it, is it ever really when done? When are we done, Mike? It's never done. It's never done. It's fourth and goal when the kickoff concludes. Hey, welcome back. We're closing in on midnight when fans can finally get their hands on Madden NFL 12. And when they do, they can start collecting ultimate team cards and getting legends for use in-game on their Madden ultimate team. Well, let's take a look at how the pros would build their dream squad. Oh my goodness, I mean, from who do I get to pick from? Any player ever. I'd probably start with Dan Marino. I'm gonna take a leader. I'd probably start with Ray Lewis. The, the present day players or anybody? I would choose a Bo Jackson. You know, that'll be one of the tough things when I go home and I'm talking to my kids and they'll be saying, Dad, yeah, I had you on my roster, but we had to cut down to 53 and you got cut. Barry Sanders is a good choice too. That would be a good matchup, me against me. Me the receiver, give me the corner. It would be hard to, to contain myself. So guys, besides picking the players, what makes Ultimate Team so addicting to play? I, you know, I'm a diehard fantasy football fan. I, I, for me, Ultimate Team is like this perfect marriage of fantasy football, of Madden itself, and collecting football cards, which I think we all probably did growing up. And so, um, you know, the ability now this year to actually trade with your friends, I think only facilitates that sort of feeling. So I think that's why people get so excited about it. So you can trade virtually now, I guess, these cards? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. The circle of life, you can buy cards, earn them, and trade them. All right, sounds like fun. Now, who would be, who's on your ultimate team? Have you guys already picked since you have oh, advanced Give me sweet, again? sweetness. Move on. Yeah, I'd take Barry Sanders. Uh, he'd be on mine. Barry, absolutely. Over Peyton? He's mine. I'm gonna yeah, man. Peyton had ponies. It's, it's Barry. They're on your ultimate team. Well, fans will obviously get to pick their ultimate team when the game comes out. Now, once the game does hit stores tonight, it's the online experience that's going to continue to feed all these fanatics all year long. So let's talk about online communities. We know the Madden fans don't just play this game for a week or two, they play it all year long, right? So what's new with online communities? Um, so for anyone who doesn't know, online communities are basically a way for you and up to 2,000 other people to get together and play head-to-head -head games against each other on your own leaderboards with all your stats tracked. You know, in, in years past, those 200 million online games, well, they're all played one way, uh, our way. Or, or, or Mike's way, actually. Right. <laughs> so uh, online communities allows you to customize. If I want to play, you know, full quarters with uh, on all Madden with injuries turned off and fatigue turned off, I can do that. If I want to adjust the dozens of sliders to have penalties called this often or, or whatever, I can do all of that. Customize it to be your experience. And as they said, your leaderboards, I know I'm awful, so there's no way I'm going to make the Xbox Live or PlayStation Network leaderboard, but in our community of other awful friends, I might. So um, I think that's the purpose of it. So it's when you put in your Madden NFL 12, it's like having your own Xbox Live, your own PlayStation Network for you and your friends who play the same way you do. And now it is time for one final fan-asked question, and here it is. Hi, this is Ben from Queens, New York, and I want to know when you guys say, okay, we're done with this game, it's finished, it's a wrap, it's ready to go. How do you know when Madden is done? Is it, is it ever really when done? When are we done, Mike? It's never done. It's never done. And uh, you know, we have a live support team. All year we're gonna be updating the rosters. You know, we talked about tuner sets earlier. Um, Madden Ultimate Team. Chad Ochocinco kicks a field goal, we'll put out a Ochocinco, you know, kicker card. Um, and then we have Madden, uh, Madden Moments Live. So all year, any cool moment, so that Deshaun Jackson punt from last year, whatever that moment is this year, recreate we're gonna, we're gonna recreate that and have it out that next week. All right, guys, well, thanks so much for joining me, and thank you to all the fans for your questions online. The good news is you don't have to wait any longer for Madden NFL 12. It's in stores now, so enjoy the game and enjoy the season. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jeff Keeley. Good night, everybody.